Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I am going to be sharing with you my spring book haul. I have received and bought a lot of books in April and May so I decided to just combine a book haul and hopefully I will just do this for the next couple months as I accumulate books because as I've stated on this channel before I don't buy books that much or receive them that much but you can tell that people are going back to the offices in the publishing world because I have received a lot of final or physical copies. I will also be talking about my ebooks so you can check the cards down below for that. There are a lot of books so grab a drink or a snack because we might be here for a while. Starting off with April I bought the Literally Dead book club pick for April which was All Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris and unfortunately I didn't get around to reading it during that month which sucks because I really wanted to read it but I am hoping to read it sometime this year because I'm really interested in it. This is a law thriller. I don't know if that's the correct word for it but it does follow a lawyer and I believe her boss dies and then there's just a whole investigation with that. I did actually start a couple pages of it I just didn't get around to finishing it and so hopefully I can do that in the next couple months. Next I actually bought an ebook and this was Always Only You by Chloe Lisi and I was recommended this book by a few people and that was because it has hockey in it and I read The Mistletoe Motive back in December and I really enjoyed it so I wanted to read more of Chloe's work. It has autistic rep which is own voices and it has hockey which is why I wanted to read it. I'm in the middle of it and I have thoughts. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say on that. Then for my video Wordle Picks My TBR I bought another ebook which was Gert Garibaldi's Rants and Raves One Butt Cheek at a Time by Amber Kaiser and if you want to know my thoughts on that book you can go and watch that video but I had to buy the ebook so that I could read it. In April for my bi-monthly Patreon book club I picked up Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez and if you want to know my thoughts on that you can go and watch my April wrap up. I really enjoyed it. So I picked up a copy because I don't think I had it at my library and I'm really glad that I did buy a copy of it because I loved it so much. Then Algonquin Young Reader sent me two of Nicole Melby's books. First was a final copy of The Science of Being Angry which I talk about in my mental health book recommendations video and they kindly sent me a copy to post on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram post down below if you want to check it out and so thank you so much to them because I loved this so much. It has a main character who has anger, it has hockey, and we also have some ADHD rep from a major side character and I just really enjoyed this. And they sent me Nicole Mellaby's 2021 release How to Become a Planet and this is about Pluto who is 13 and she is diagnosed with depression and I'm really excited to read this because I love seeing depression rep but I also just love middle grade books that tackle mental health because it's so important so I am definitely going to get around to this one very soon. Thank you so much to Algonquin Young Readers for sending me a copy of these because I loved The Silence of Being Angry and I cannot wait to pick this one up. I'll have links to all the books I mentioned down below if you want to pick them up. Then I picked up People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is a classic. It's really popular and I have not read it yet. Also can I just say the spine is really pretty. I really like it. I'm excited to read this because I feel like it's just being recommended to me so much that I was like you know what I'm gonna pick it up. And one of the characters names is Alex so uh, you know I was gonna pick it up for that but it's also a really pretty book. I really like the spine. It's really nice looking and it was on sale so I ended up just picking it up. I had to check if I hauled this yet but I think I've just been talking about it in so many videos that I feel like I've already hauled it so I will talk about it quickly but this is Hildy on the Record by Hildy Lisiak. I was sent this from Kai Publishing and it is a memoir about a kid reporter. She's 14 years old. I read this in my video where I swapped my screen time with reading time so I'll have that above if you want to go and watch it but I believe I also mention it in my April wrap up. I really enjoyed this one so thank you to Kai Publicity for sending it my way. Then Roaring Books Press sent me 
Consider The Octopus by Gay Posner and Nora Raleigh Baskin. This has such a cool cover. This is set on a cruise ship. This book is all about pollution and it teaches kids how to protect our environment and save the oceans and I think that's a really important topic for middle grade so I'm excited to read this. I've read Gay Posner before and that is why I accepted this request but it looks cute and fun and I'm excited to read it. And the last book I bought in April was The Secret Sunshine Project by Benjamin Dean. His new release just came out. This is his sophomore book and I am so excited because I loved Me, My Dad, and The End of the Rainbow. So I'm super excited to read this one. And can I just say he always gets such good covers. They are so nice. This one I don't know too much about. Um, it says, last summer, B, Riley, mom, and dad had the best day ever at London Pride, but a year later, everything has changed. When they move to the countryside, B decides she'll do whatever it takes to clear the clouds, especially for her older sister, Riley. With the help of new friends, can B bring Riley's sunshine back for good? Ooh. Honestly, when I saw that he had another book coming out, I was like, I don't even care what it's about. I will buy it. So I did. I bought it on the book depository because he is a UK author and... I am just excited to read this. Maybe I'll try and fit it into my June TBR, but don't hold me to that. I'm just super excited to read this. It's just so gorgeous. Like, I love his cover so much. In May was my birthday, and so I read some of my childhood favorite books, and I bought some of them on eBay, including DW Thinks Big by Mark Brown. Picture this, an adaption of Lizzie McGuire, and Amber Brown is not a crayon by Paula Danzinger. If you want to hear my thoughts and watch that video, it'll be linked down below. It was such a fun video and I loved reading these books as an adult. These two I actually found in photos that I had and this one I just kind of knew off the top of my head. I'm gonna finish up the book haul over here and I just changed because I am sweating, but I received Lake Lore by A.M. McLemore, which was for the trans book box. I was a rep for April and I'm also a rep for July. So I'll have my unboxing down below, but this is by a non-binary author. The main characters are a non-binary and there is also ADHD rep. There was a lot of books that came out in May, so I got some pre-orders, including A Show for Two by Tashi Buyan, which is one of my most anticipated releases. This is about a Bangladeshi American girl who has a hate to love romance with a movie star, and it was inspired by Tom Holland being at her school. And so I'll have a link down below to her Instagram post where she talks about it. And I have been wanting to read her because I know that she is a popular contemporary author and I've been wanting to read her debut Counting Down With You because it has anxiety rep and so does this. So I'm excited to read more of it. I am enjoying it. I also pre-ordered Cafe Con Liche by Emery Lee. It's one of my most anticipated releases. I mentioned it in my most anticipated releases video and I'm just excited to read it. It is about two guys. One is on the soccer team and their rival bakeries and I'm really excited to read it. It is on my June TBR. And last I pre-ordered If You Change Your Mind by Robbie Weber who I love. He is on Bookstagram and I could not wait to pick up his book. It is a Achillean romance. Uh, it might have a love triangle. I'm not entirely sure, but it is a summer romance and I'm so excited to read it. Then for my birthday, I went to a bookstore and I ended up buying the next installment of the Pocket Change Collective Food Related Stories by Gabby Milian. And I am so excited to read this because I love books about food. And while I was there, I picked up this free pouch. It was just there in the YA section and it is for the release of the We Were Liars prequel. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it said free, so I decided to pick it up. <laughs> and it matches. And the final two books are from Catapult. This is Rainbow by Lydia Conklin, and this is a short story collection, which I'm really excited about. Collection of stories that celebrate the humor, darkness, and depth of emotion of the queer and trans experience from a new voice that is certain to belong in the canon of contemporary queer literature. I'm super excited to read this, so thank you to Catapult for sending me a copy of this. And I also have 
Body Language, which I believe is another nonfiction. Selected from the archives of Catapult Magazine, essays in body language affirm and question the personal and political conversations around human bodies from the perspective of 30 writers diverse in race, age, gender, size, sexuality, health, ability, geography, and class. Oh, I'm excited. These covers are just so pretty. I'm really hoping to get around to a rainbow in June because I think it's perfect and I have been loving anthologies so I will let you know my thoughts once I read these. I missed a couple books so let me fill them in here. I have two graphic novels. One was sent to me from Scholastic and this is a graphic memoir, Welcome to St. Hell, My Trans Teen Misadventure by Lewis Hancocks. It is his graphic novel set in high school and just what he would have liked to tell his younger self and I'm really excited to read this. I have a video coming this month where I read queer graphic novels so this will be included along with Slip by Marika Mokula and illustrated by Admaja Panja and I am so excited to read this. This was pitched as a soft summery story full of magic art and sweet summer crushes layered with poignant depictions of mental health and growing up. One of the comp titles for this is This One Summer by Mariko Tamaki which is one of my favorite graphic novels so I am very excited to read this and you'll get to know my thoughts in that vlog. This was sent to me by Workman Publishing so thank you so much to them. Now back to the video. That is it for my spring book haul. If you've read any of these or are excited for them let me know in the comments and my June TBR was just posted on Tuesday so you can go and watch that if you haven't. I will see you next week with all the queer content. If you missed it I'm going to be doing book recommendations every Tuesday starting next Tuesday June 7th so feel free to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye.